So if you've seen the video of 1948 Music Camp, which shows them perform performing on the beach. I think there was around about 60 students down at Point Lonsdale. These days, in fact, next year, in January 2018, we'll be at the University of Adelaide with more than 230 students covering instrumental composition, arts administration, sound production, music journalism. Music Camp has evolved in a way that is intended to really keep ahead of the developments of the profession, but also the creative skills that people need as artists in the 21st century. Seeing the role of the music director, such as, for example, Richard Gill, who directed Music Camp not so long ago. I mean, every time I rehearse a group of youth musicians, I find out so much more about music and the way music works and the way they engage with the music. I just absolutely loved it. Every year I wanted to come back every summer um, to keep playing music with my friends and uh, my first National Music Camp was particularly special in 2009. I got to play Shostakovich's 11th Symphony. I made so many new friends. I remember being so nervous at the beginning but I made all these great connections which I've kept in contact with for like you know seven plus years and I feel like we'll keep being friends. the students who attends camp pays a fee just over a thousand dollars plus their own travel costs to get to music camp. That doesn't cover 50% of the cost of music camp. It's a very large complex operation that's very expensive. There's never been a more important time for us to have the support of individuals through donations to the National Music Camp Fund to ensure that it's sustained and can grow for many, many more thousands of Australian musicians.